an outlaw car is one the way you would have it if you had it built the way you wanted it. To me, it, it's the most artistic of any of the 356s that I've ever owned. If there's such a thing as a piece of art on wheels, this is it. I'm Jack Griffin. This is a 1955 356 Porsche Coupe. I've owned this car for 20 years. I bought it in 1994. In 1955, Max Hoffman, who was the major importer of Porsche, convinced Porsche that they should have a marketing name for Porsches in the U.S. So all of the 356s that were sold in the U.S. in 1955 were badged and marketed as Continentals until Ford Motor Company made them stop using the name because of the Lincoln Continental. So that created a one-year only car. There were probably 1,500 Continentals sold in the U.S. that year. In 1955, that was in the fifth year of the existence of Porsche, and the cars were pretty much hand-built and pretty crude. So I wanted something that would be uh, more modern driving, but still had the look of the early 356. It was in poor condition. It, it, was, uh, it was complete, which was the main thing that I was interested in. It had some rust, but, but it was all easily fixable. Everything needed to be restored, and in this case, I wanted to have a real aggressive look, and I did it what would be a race car uh, in the 50s. Uh, the louvered uh, engine lid, the gas filler through the hood. Of course, I upgraded it to disc brakes rather than drum brakes. I had Vic Skirmatz build a motor that uh, just about doubled the horsepower. I wanted a more robust gearbox, and so it's got a 1962 gearbox. Because I changed it to disc brakes, that meant that I could not use the Baby Moon hubcaps. I had a set of these uh, very rare four and a half inch uh, Fuchs wheels, but these fit uh, on it just fine. One of the significant features about the car is that it has a sunroof, and that was actually a factory sunroof, and people are surprised that uh, a Porsche that early, 1955, would have a factory sunroof. So it's a modern gearbox, modern engine, modern brakes, modern electricals, and it's got the cool look. Drives like a more modern 356. However, the handling is still pretty edgy. Newer cars like a 911 that are sort of comfortable at higher speeds. Uh, this car, you know you're really doing something at 80 or 90 miles an hour. The back end wants to come around if you're going around a corner very fast. And the race car drivers that race these, they developed an, a technique that they called sawing. And that was like moving the steering wheel back and forth and rotating it around. That, that's a bit of the charm of the car, is that you're very involved in the process. You don't get bored. I love the car and I love driving it. To me, it's a little beauty queen and it's a piece of art. I've sold some cars that I never thought I would sell, but as long as I enjoy uh, playing with it the little bit that I do, I want to keep owning it. <laughs>